Continuing from my previous video on LoRa, in the previous video, I've used a transparent transmission, so we send to all and receive from all that have the same address and channel. In this video, I will proceed with fixed transmission and structured messaging using ESP8266. In this fixed transmission, LoRa will send to a specified point and receive a response. Here are the required materials for this video. I am using two units of E32 LoRa e-byte, two ESP8266, a breadboard, a 5-volt power supply, 4.7K ohm resistors for connecting the TX and RX pins to 3 volts, and other parts such as LEDs, buttons, and jumper cables. Here is the reference website for using the E32 LoRa e-byte library. Please visit this website for more information on using the library and the types of transmissions that can be used with the library, including wirings. To use this type of transmission, we must set a parameter on configuration and set a specified address for every device. In this video, I am using the RF setting application from eByte to set the parameters. For the first LoRa, I set the address to 1 and the channel to 4, and enabled fixed mode. Don't forget to click set param and then close port. Continuing with setting the parameters for the next LoRa. For the second LoRa, I set the address to 3, the channel to 4, and enabled fixed mode. Make sure the channels are the same between the LoRa modules so that the messages can be sent and received. To use fixed transmission, we can use the example code provided in the library, specifically the send fixed transmission example. In this code, there are a few lines that need to be edited, such as the RX and TX pins used. In this video, I am using pins D5 and D6, which correspond to pins 1 and 12. Since the parameters have already been set in the RF setting application, we don't need to set the parameters in this code. I have enabled some lines of code to view the stored parameter configurations in the LoRa module, to check the initial condition and ensure that the LoRa module is detected correctly when the M0 and M1 pins are connected to 3 volts. Here is the syntax for sending a fixed transmission message. In this example, I will send a message to the second LoRa module with address 3 and channel 4. For the receive code, we can also use the example code provided in the library, specifically the receive fixed transmission example. Similarly to the send transmission code, we need to edit the RX and TX pins used, which are pins D5 and D6, or 14 and 12. This setup will display the current LoRa parameters in initial run when M0 and M1 are connected to 3 volts, helping to confirm that the ESP can detect the LoRa module properly. This is how I connect the jumper cables on the breadboard. First, I connect the M0 and M1 pins to 3 volts to check if the ESP can read the connected LoRa parameters. Next, I open two instances of the Arduino IDE connected to the two different ports of the LoRa modules. Then, I open the serial monitor for each port to view serial information. Next, I press the reset button on the ESP to restart the program from the beginning. We can see the parameter settings for each LoRa module such as head, address, and channel, according to the set parameters. This indicates that the LoRa modules are detected properly and ready to be used for transmitting and receiving messages. To start transmission and reception of LoRa messages, we need to switch to normal mode by connecting the M0 and M1 pins to ground. This allows us to see in the serial monitor that the receiving LoRa module can receive messages from the transmitting LoRa module once the message has been sent. From here, we've successfully performed fixed transmission, sending messages from the transmitting LoRa to the receiving LoRa using specific address and channel settings. In the example we've covered, it was a simple message. Next, we'll try sending more complex structured messages. This is an example code for sending structured messages via fixed transmission. You can find it in the list of examples in the E32 LoRa eByte library. Next, 
Next, from that code, I will modify it to send structured messages where I will send the temperature and humidity values obtained from the DHT11 sensor. Additionally, I will send the status of two buttons, button 1 and button 2. Every two seconds, the LoRa module will send a structured message containing temperature, humidity, button status 1, and button status 2 to LoRa with address 3 and channel 4. This is an example code for receiving structured messages via fixed transmission. You can find it in the list of examples in the E32 LoRa eByte library. Next, from that code, I will modify it to receive structured messages that will read temperature and humidity values, as well as the status of button 1 and button 2. Upon receiving these messages, the data will be displayed on an LCD screen. Additionally, based on the received button status, the program will control whether an LED turns on or off. This is the connection of jumper cables on the transmitting LoRa module, which includes additional components like the DHT11 sensor and two buttons. For the LoRa module that will receive messages, I connect an LCD that will display the values received from the messages, including two LEDs that will turn on or off based on the button status received from the transmitting LoRa module. This is the display on the serial monitor when the program is running. We can see that the transmitted parameters, such as temperature, humidity, button 1 status, and button 2 status, are received by the receiving LoRa module. When a button is pressed, the transmitted button status will also change to on. Conversely, when the button is released, the button status will change to off. In conclusion, in this video, we successfully demonstrated the use of fixed transmission with LoRa modules. We started by setting parameters using the RF setting application, ensuring both sender and receiver were configured correctly. We then expanded to sending structured messages containing temperature and humidity values from a DHT11 sensor, along with the status of two buttons. The receiving end displayed these values on an LCD screen and controlled LEDs based on button statuses received. This showcases the versatility of LoRa in transmitting data reliably over long distances, making it ideal for IoT applications requiring low power, long range communication. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.